So Liam is a specialist lister. The way the business works there is certain people do buyers, certain people are lead generators, and then we've got the people that are the closers. They go out and they do listing presentations after listing presentations. And Liam, could I ask you, in a, in a busy week, how many listing presentations do you actually do? In a busy week, could be upwards of 20, 20 in a week. 20 yeah. in a week. So yep. your 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 life is I'm just doing the numbers in a busy week you could actually do you know four or five listing presentations in a day 100% yep okay so to me there are two reasons why you don't have every listing in the market real estate gym members it's either they didn't call you in or they called you in and they gave it to someone else so today we're going to focus on once they have called you in. And then what's really important is how you turn up. So when you turn up, um, I never park in the driveway. So don't park in the driveway. I kind of park a house or two down. I think that's really important because like it's old school, but you know, people really like that. When you get to the property, don't just walk straight in and knock on the door. Stand out the front, take some notes. Look really interested in the property. So oh, I like that. Jeez, I like that because yeah. I'm convinced that many vendors are having a look to see what you look like. What's this They're guy? Looking out the window. They're looking yeah. out the window, right? Yeah. They're sussing 100%. it out, right? Yeah. I love that. You're sort of sitting there taking notes. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Whereas the average agent, they're on the phone getting out of yeah. the car. They're late. Talking to someone in La La Land. Okay, yeah. yeah, keep going. I've actually been taking notes and I've been walking around. Did you know there's over $100,000 worth of hidden value in your home and they're going to say well what do you mean i'm going to say well duct is not standard that kitchen cost you thirty thousand dollars then you put these floors down that cost you twenty five thousand dollars so do you think it's safe to say that when i'm sitting down negotiating with a buyer i'm at least going to get them up for an extra five or ten grand aren't i or 20 or 30. i love but that i love it. you're already showing your home is going to be worth more money with us because yep. we're looking at the ammunition that we can load the gun up with the buyer. Hundred percent. Yep. And I've created that list. I've written down that list as I'm walking through the home. So the tour is for building rapport, and it's for identifying the hidden features and value in the property. So you're doing two re two reasons we're doing a tour to yep. get closer to them because this is a really soft way of doing it. You're not sort of yep. staring at each other like there's no. an interrogation. You're doing it in a nice passive way, but you're mm -hmm. also getting the, uh, the the hidden value, the invisible value of the home. Yep. Yep. And you want to test, you want to, you want to do small test closes too. When you, when you're going through the tour. Give me an example of a test close. Things list people on their motivation, not on price. So if someone, like every owner wants more for their property, but you sign up a listing based on their motivation, someone might really, really want to sell or have to sell, but they want more than what you believe the property's worth. That's great. I'll list 100% of those and then my vendor management, I'll, I'll get them sold. No problems. So don't not list a listing because they want too much. List based on motivation or price. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Leah, when I, my first job in real estate, there was a real estate agent up the road called Bob. Mm. And he had a nickname being called Honest Bob. Honest Bob would go out and he would list properties, right? After he'd write the price on the back of a business card. And he would always tell them what he thought it would sell for. And he never listed a lot of properties because he just used to give them no hope, right? Yep. And vendors want no hope. And then what he used to do is three weeks later, he'd come back in, you know, to the office. And the reason I know this is one of my mates used to work there. And he mm. used to turn around and say, mate, can't believe it. I told them it was worth 200. They gave it to the other agent at 230. Guess what it's just sold for? 200. I was right. And his boss used to say, you were right, but he's got the commission, <laughs> he's got the soul buy, right? Exactly. And 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 what it is, is you're 100% right. That person that wants a million dollars on a property that's only worth 900, that's getting divorced or has bought elsewhere or has got a family issue or needs to be relocated or has a new baby coming in, 
they've got nothing to do with the price. They've got to do with their motivation. Yep. 100%. So always remember, it's not what they want, it's why they want it. We're going to send you what Liam has as the pre-questions that he sends out to them. In addition to that, team, if you want to improve your listing presentation, in the real estate gym, there is a good course called the Ultimate Listing Presentation Under Courses. When you click on it there, it's got 15 modules and it's broken up each component of the listing presentation, marketing, commission, the agenda, you know, working out if they're an immediate seller or future seller, and it is here under courses. The two big the two biggies that come up in a in that part of the conversation is you know the price, yeah, and, um, and the commission, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. How do you how do you talk about how do you talk about price? Um, I talk about price. I learned um, two bits of dialogue that I mixed together that really work well for me, and I learned them from two of the industry heavyweights that recently, you know, they always feature on the gym and that just, I, I pretty much say this every time. I just say, well, look, the good news is we can take the pressure off the conversation today to discuss exactly what your home is worth to the dollar because at the end of the day, that will be decided by the, mar the marketing and our negotiation. What we can do though is, you, yeah, obviously have a CMA prepared. What we can do though is go through a list of some properties that have sold that, um, I believe is comparable, but what's more important here is the fact I'm not a I'm not a licensed or registered valuer. So you're, you're using, by the way, everyone, please use that content that Liam's uh, making reference to. It's you're talking about the John McGrath uh, approach, correct? Amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, so team, I want to repeat that again. Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, the good news is that's given you a test ride of the real estate gym. In the real estate gym, we've got all the information you need to succeed, whether it's prospecting, listing presentations, scripts, dialogues, how to actually have the best templates and have a process driven business. You can join the real estate gym. The doors are open now and it is less than one coffee a day as an investment.